Hey guys, Craig Diggers coming to you, Western Maryland. Me and Corey uh, been doing some abandoned lots, probing for privies, no luck. We went to about four different houses, couldn't find anything. So we decided to check this uh, gully we've been eyeballing, riding around trying to find a way down in it. We've had to walk about a mile and a half, but actually came across a fellow metal detector. He found a pretty neat uh, lead slave tag, I believe it is. And we said, uh, where's the bottle dump? You got your thumbs up? Yeah, see? Corey's got his thumbs up. He's like, I bet it's modern. I was like, no way, man. Not this far out. But we're going to walk up here, guys. This is insane. Look, I don't know if you can sit, start seeing it yet, but there's like hundreds of bottles laying all over the ground. We believe we're on the edge of an old farm. What'd you just pick up? A blown wine bottle right on the surface. Yeah. But look guys, there's pieces of milk bottles. Oh man, this is going to be fun. We've got about four and a half hours of light. Is that milk full right there? Oh, just a mace. Pickle jar, pickle jars laying on the ground guys. Let's see what all we got laying on the ground. Oh man, look underneath. Corey, just move the leaves a little bit. Here's a soda. Not embossed, but pieces of pottery. Oh man, guys. Huh? It's been hit. Yeah, it has been hit. You can see some holes where people's dug a little bit. It doesn't look like too bad though. We're gonna look around, find a spot to dig, and see you right back. Stay tuned for more. This is gonna be awesome. Hey guys, me and Corey's just working right down the middle of this like gully. You can see up above us the road where they came in to dump and they just dumped all down, down the side. Oh, it almost had the handle. Yeah, almost. We pulled, let me see that real quick. All from the same set. Too. These beautiful creamers are coming out. We pulled like five or six of I'd them. I'd say they were probably from the hotel. And then, uh, I'm pretty sure I got a matching saucer for it. Yeah. There you go. Ding. But Corey just popped out what we think might be a little derringer. Check this out, guys. It's real heavy, huh? Definitely a gun. Pretty awesome. That's the first one of 2020. I don't know if it's a toy or not. We'll definitely hang on to that. But we're just going to keep working down. You can see his hole. We only got one shovel because we were exploring. We usually bring a shovel and a rake. But there's some sodas and stuff coming out. I did pop out a... Uh, a whistle, I'll show you that real quick. A whistle from Cumberland, Maryland. Actually, I think it's from Cumberland, Maryland. It might not be. It does not say it's a it's a no place whistle. No place whistle. Alright. See you guys back. Hey guys, we're just messing around digging random holes and look, another gun, a little pistol. I'm going to try to put that one in electrolysis. I don't know how much of it I'll be able to save. Looks pretty old though. Pretty neat. See you back if anything else cool comes out. Hey guys, Crick Diggers coming to you Sunday morning out here at the Bricklayer Dump. My son Travis Jr. is running the pinpointer around finding relics. And uh, my buddy Billy down in the hole right here cleaning it out. He's trying to, he's a metal detectorist, real good at it too, but he wanted to try his hand at some bottle digging, so I invited him out this morning. We're going to see what we can find. Right now we're just, you can see we're just cleaning the hole out. We're probably about eight feet down. I'd say it goes down another two, three feet to the bottom where the really good stuff is. So nothing interesting just yet. But see you back real shortly. Stay tuned. Hey 
Hey guys, me and Billy are just now getting under the bricks. You can see them at the end about somewhere right here. But I just popped this little med out. Check it out. It says Pinus Medicine Company, Monticello, Illinois, USA. And then this side says Frutola. Nice little cork extract or med. Well, it's definitely a med because it says medicine on it. But Pinus. Anybody ever seen that before? Pinus Medicine Company. Don't know if it's common or not, but I'll hang on to it. I've never dug one. But we're just going to keep working down, down, down. We're getting to a nice light gray ash layer. See you back. Hey guys, Billy was just in there uh, cleaning up under the bricks. And we're, we're to the bottom, but we're just expanding out a little bit. And he just popped this little Nantazone chemical company from South Bend, Indiana. I believe it's a nice little amber chemical. Real nice blown cork. Corker. Anybody ever seen that one before? Badass fine, Billy! Yeah! Alright, guys. See you back. Guys, real quick, just wanted to show you this really, really cool statue Billy just popped out. I'm not sure who it is. But it's really, really neat. I don't think it says anything on it that I've found anywhere yet. But just wanted to show you that. Another neat, cool little find. Little statue. We're on the bottom. We're just expanding out. What's that? Just a slick. Lots and lots of slicks coming out. And lots and lots of bricks. Tons of them. We're just working our way back, back under, back under some more. See back if anything else cool comes out. Guys, Billy just popped this neat little uh, milk glass cup out. It's got a nice swirl design on it. It may have a maker's mark on there. I got to clean it off some more, but. And then there's my son all bundled up. He says it's cold out here and it's almost 60 degrees today. But there you go, another cool little find. Billy's tearing it up today for his first time bottle digging. Not doing bad at all. There it is. See you back. Hey guys, now the good stuff's starting to come out. Check it out. I got a block letter Coca Cola. Just popped out a big, big green hawk wine. A couple beers, a couple wines. Uh, that mason jar up here. I got this really neat, I think it's a half pint or quarter pint. It says Atlas Mason's Patent. Not sure what color it is, but definitely gonna hang on to that. You can see we got some meds and different kinds of beers and ales and a few sodas. I'll take you in the hole real quick and show you where I'm working at. I'm working up here, up above these tree roots. It's hard to see, but I just pulled a couple bottles out. That's where that hawk wine came from. I'll step out of my hole for a minute and show you. Whoa. Right there's my hole. Right there. Billy's working over here in this hole. We got some bottles today. Heck yeah. We're we'll going to keep going. See back if anything else cool comes out. Stay tuned. Guys, we're, me and Billy's working our way up underneath this tree. That seems to be where the good concentration of bottles is. Look here. Just popped out my first wine with the, uh, with the seal on it. Corey dug one of them last year. I don't know if it's the same seal or not. I gotta get cleaned up, but nice. And then this rolled out. Double diamond Coca-Cola, baby. It does have a little bit of lip damage, but it's a good donor for a, for a glass. Love it. And Billy just popped out a Quah Cola. We ain't dug one of them in a while. Let's hear it. Quah! Yeah, there it is. He's in the Quah Club. <laughs> See you back, guys.
Gotta check these two big hawk wines Billy just pulled out right from under this tree right here. Real nice. Turn of the century. Both of them dark, dark green. Should clean up pretty nice. That's pretty cool find. Two of them side by side. Heck yeah, man. Killing it today. See you guys back. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Corey finally showed up. He's down there digging a hole. But me and Billy's about whipped. We did bring this tree down. We were digging under it, and it fell. Boom, you can see. Nice. We got uh, two hawk wines, a real dark green one and a light green one. Another wine with a plate, uh, Virginia Dare. Bottom script Coca-Cola. British Ale, Melanthes, Block Letter Coca-Cola, Double Diamond Coca-Cola, Quah Cola, a couple beers, Scott's Emulsion, a really neat Colgate Mirage Cream with pretty cool symbols all the way around it, the Frutola you seen earlier, this really neat Nail City mason jar seal white house nice little cup we didn't do too bad today how'd you enjoy your first bottle digging adventure billy awesome heck yeah glad you could come out man had some fun and got to dig some good stuff trav pretty much just stayed bundled up the whole entire time are you warm <laughs> it looks like <laughs> Now the Lichtensteins? Yeah. Corey's got two I, I Lichtensteins. Got a nice layer over here too. Do you? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Well, we'll see you back if anything else cool comes out, but I'm whipped. I've been here since 10:30 and it's like Somebody 4 o'clock. See you back if anything else cool it's comes out, guys. Good. Guys, check this salt shaker out. Corey just popped out and he ain't been here for like 20 minutes. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Look at the design on it. Uh, Isn't that really cool? Just wanted to show you that though. We're on our way out of here. Chad, bud, you ready? Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. Hope you enjoyed the show the whole weekend. Lots and lots of finds, lots of exploring. New bottle dumps. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time, guys.